All right, well, according to a recent poll, 90% of Americans agree that we actually are experiencing a mental health crisis. And most often we actually treat the symptoms without looking deeper into the root causes of mental health concerns. So joining us right now is Bob Gardner. He is a freedom and transformation specialist with a fresh view on actually how to conquer stress, addiction, and anxiety. Bob, welcome to Daily Flash. So glad to have you here. Uh, glad to be here. Your first point is actually, it's quite interesting. It's a question, what if there's really nothing wrong with you? Explain that. Yeah, well, in the beginning, you got to remember, I came from a place where I was deeply addicted for 18 years, was suicidal, was depressed. And I was looking at the, the reality that all the things that I had tried hadn't worked, that I had spent all of this time and energy and money on things to sort of manage the symptom. And so I started turning the question around and going like, what if the fact that I'm experiencing misery is in an indication that my body and mind are working properly okay. just with the wrong set of data? And that started a whole train of conversation in a different direction. No, no, I, I, I totally, I can see where you're already headed. I can see the road where we're headed, where we're doing this, because that's what happens is our body takes over. Our body knows how to run itself, if you think about it. But explain how does trauma actually begin and then end in the body, and, and can we actually remove it? Yeah. So in the, in the end, when I say, what is trauma or what is addiction or what are all these other things? The question I was asking myself is, how do I know I have it? Right. And when that question is posed, immediately I start looking around and realizing, oh, wow, I'm dealing with my breathing is off. I have this gnarly feeling in my gut. My, you know, my eyes are erratic. I feel uncomfortable. But it was all in my body. And I go, well, shoot, I don't experience that all the time. I don't experience trauma all the time. Yeah. So if only this thing in my body, what if I start working with my body and retrain it so that its reflex reaction to the environment is something totally different? And that's exactly what I did. It seems like a lot of uh, people actually, they look outwardly to find out what's wrong with them. Like something is causing this, like another person or the situation. And you're saying, well, look, maybe it's internal. And maybe if you can figure that out, it'll actually work its way through, through the body through this. Am I, am I right in my estimation on that? 100%. And it's natural that we would look outside to blame stuff. We learned it. We watched other people doing it. We absorbed that by some sort of life osmosis going, oh, yeah, if I feel upset, you made me upset. But yeah. the reality is if I had been unconscious and they had done the same thing, I wouldn't have felt upsetness. So obviously the consciousness is doing it. I need to think more of like, what would I do if I was unconscious? <laughs> That's how I need to start thinking. I like that. All right. How do we actually train ourselves to find that happiness on autopilot? Yeah, that's where what I started with was, well, let me just start learning how to manage my mind and my body and my feelings on the inside in a way that I can move them in a direction of goodness, even when the negative stuff hits. So I would start with, oh, well, let me just breathe differently than I'm breathing right now. Let okay. me stand differently than I'm standing right now. And, you know, it's funny, you know, you get upset, but if you just like lay on the ground, it changes the feeling. If you hang yourself upside down, you know, off the couch or something, it's really hard to have an argument in the same way if both of you are upside down. And uh, it's amazing. These little I changes like can change your life. No, no, to me, honestly, and, and I'm not making fun, I, that makes sense to me because we get into these modes, all right, because first off, we get into these defense modes. I, I got to protect myself, my being, and that thing. But if you can move yourself and ex take, extract yourself out from that, now I got to think different. I, I don't know where I'm at and I'm going to act different, much like how I act on TV and you would not be on TV if you think about it, right? I mean, you're being seen. So I totally understand that. In your book, Built for Freedom, folks can get it anywhere. Where can they find out more information? You can get it on Amazon. You can get it on my website, thefreedomspecialist.com that's listed there, as well as access to all of our podcasts and other programs, a chance to come to retreats and whatnot. Basically, I am trying to give people the the best that I can give them. And, yeah. and my hope is by the end, they walk away with the sense that, wow, maybe nothing's wrong with me. Maybe I just haven't trained my system to produce anything but thank this. You. Bob, thank you so much. TheFreedomSpecialist.com. More after this.